YouTube and welcome to California Beer Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ballast Point Sculpin Indian Pale Ale. So let's get cracking. This is a beer that I'm very unfamiliar with just because of the price. I never really tended to pick this one up in particular just because of the price. I'm one who likes to buy beer at a bargain you can say. But um, I noticed um, Eric from Massachusetts Beer Reviews really enjoys this beer, so I thought I'd give it a try. As you can see there, it has a nice foamy head. It has kind of a copper um, appearance going on with the beer itself. It has a really strong aroma, aroma that I'm catching even though my nose is not near the glass. So let's just get on with the smell and see what we're smelling in, with this beer. Right off the bat, I smell a sweet hoppy smell with a combination of kind of a grapefruit smell, grapefruit peel, or maybe even an orange peel. It's pretty hot today. Um, yeah, it smells actually really good. A little more sweeter than I noticed with a lot of other IPAs that I have tried in the past. So um, let's get on with that taste. Right away you get a strong, bitter, um, <clears throat> hoppy taste. You get a faint, grassy kind of flora hops going on. Not your straight, run of the mill, um, bitter hops. It's more of a citrusy hops. Don't get me wrong, this is a really bitter beer. But it tends to have a little bit different attributes that you'd find with a normal IPA. So far, I'm being really amazed by this beer. You're getting almost like a grapefruit juice. You're getting like a grapefruit juice with like maybe a hint of the orange peel. There is some malt present. It does, and it does have a little bit of a bready taste to it. Kind of very faint. Kind of the bready taste that you would taste with a wheat beer, but nothing like that. It's totally different, but it's that, it has one of those same components. But this is a truly pretty spectacular IPA in my opinion. Very clean finish, very crisp for a beer that is so heavy with the hops and stuff. It actually comes off a bit light at the same time. It does have a crispness to it. I still wouldn't say this is summer grade um beer this is not something that you completely want to session session ah brain fart session during um the summer um season but um i would say it's still not it's still completely worth giving it a try and it is more crisper and i would say this if you had to choose an ipa for the summertime this would be the one So very sweet citrusy hops, we've got a decent amount of malt that contributes to the beer. you got a grapefruit flavored taste coming from it, which I think is mostly contributing from the hops and it's just it, all the co components together is kind of making that grapefruit flavor. I think I even remember Eric from Massachusetts Beer Reviews saying that he tasted a grapefruit flavor, it was like grapefruit. And that's what I'm getting here. And yeah, it's just a really good beer. I say you guys check it out if you can get it on sale. They have it at Costco for um, $31.99 for four six packs. You get the Scalpin, the regular Pale Ale, get the Big Eye, and the Long Tail, which I think that's a really good deal. You guys, check that out. Normally they're about 14 bucks a six pack, so you're really making out if you can find it at your local Costco. So I say give it a try. And oh yeah, my rating. I would have to give this beer a 4.8 out of 5. This beer is just that good for a craft beer. So, I'm not normally one to give it a, a craft beer a high rating like this, but it really has a crisp taste 
with that craft beer taste that everybody knows to love. This is a good beer for people who are into craft beers. It's not the hoppiest craft beer I have tasted, but it is pretty hoppy. So I say check it out. But until next time, YouTube, thanks for watching.